Hi guys, welcome back. This is JJ. So after a very very long wait, I have finally received the Bandai One to One Hundred Full Mechanics Gundam Aerial Kit. It is quite hard to get hold of this model kit in the UK at the moment. Um, I have looked through a lot of the online Gunpla selling shops. They are all sold out and pre-sold out. Um, some of them have even stopped accepting pre-order as well. So I'm quite lucky to be able to get my, my hands on one of these. So as you can see, it is a Bandai model, full mechanics. So it is not a master grade Gundam kit. It kind of fall in between the high grade and the master grade and they just created a new product line called Full Mechanics but I've seen some of the reviews and I think a lot of people are very very happy with the Gundam Aerial in the 1 to 100 Full Mechanics form so I can't wait to start building this Gundam it looks pretty awesome and I think it is my first ever Gundam model that is being piloted by a lady. So as you can see from the box, it is totally brand new. The kit has only been released a few weeks ago, maybe just over a month I think. I'm not 100% sure, I just know it is fairly new and everywhere it's just sold out so should we just have a quick look of the model kit so because the box is quite large i will have to turn it slightly sideways in order to fit into the screen so you can see the bandai namco label the model kit is for 15 years old plus the witch from Mercury and you can see the really nice drawing of the aerial from the witch from Mercury series this is full mechanics and the mobile suit model number I believe that reads XVX-016 Gundam Aerial and here it shows 2023 made in Japan so it is a very very new Gundam kit so on the bottom side you have the Gundam info website you have the logo from the witch from Mercury you have the female pilot Gundam Aerial Full Mechanics, Gundam Aerial, 1 to 100 scale, and the Bandai logo. On the top side, I think it is identical, yep. And then let's take a look on the right hand side. So you have a nice photo of the fully built Gundam Aerial. So you have the front and rear view as well looks pretty good looks very very detailed the head unit it's pretty nice at this angle the the eyes they don't look too big but if you look from the lower angle then the eyes look pretty big similar to that but it still looks pretty cool consider the Gundam Aerial is piloted by a female, so I don't mind if the, if the robot looks a little bit more feminine, which is totally acceptable. And then it looks like there are some three-dimensional parts inside, and it is covered by a smoked plastic bit, which is really good. And then you can see the Lex armor 
where the kneecap is it looks like there are some movable parts looks pretty good and I do like the foot a lot it looks like you could bend it quite a bit in order to achieve the kneeing down pose and the arms forearms you could twist it 90 de degree in order to get the the double joint effect so the arms look like it has great articulation uh, the beam saber behind the head unit looks like it can be tilt forward or backwards and then here it shows you the separation of the shield into about 11 parts and you can attach those 11 parts directly onto the Gundam area. I think majority of the parts from the shield goes on top on the area as the additional armor and then the two black bits that goes with the beam rifle which looks really good and then it looks like they have given us six hands three for the left three for the right so you have the closed fist you have the semi-open fist I think the middle two are for holding the beam saber and then the far right the left hand is just open hand and the right hand is the pulling triggers hand which looks really really good now let's take a look at the other side so here you have the kneeing down position which looks really really good I really like it and then you have the aerial Gundam striking a different pose with the special effect from the beam rival here it shows you all the parts separation from the shield you could use two of the witch from mercury weapon display base to attach them all but that will require quite a lot of space to display and then the beam rifle you can attach it to the back of the aerial Gundam and here you can see those details on the legs this looks really really good and the foot looks really great as well that's a photo of the aerial with the beam saber and also holding the shield with the left arm and here is a flying post of the aerial Gundam supported by that looks like a action base 4 and then ah here this is the unpainted state so straight out from the box if you guys decide to do a straight build it will look just like that with the application of some decals and they I believe the kit come with stickers so you can stick them as you wish and there's a lot of different colors inside this kit and then the usual information about Bandai Spirits and here he said there's no requirement of glue but you do need to use a nipper to build and all those runners they are colored plastic which is amazing so now let's take a look of the inside shall we I know this aerial Gundam it doesn't come with the, the tape taping up all four corners but 
I haven't seen the the content inside. I literally just took the the Gundam kit out of the external packaging, and then I decided to start videoing. So it will be the first time for me to see the inner content as well. So let's do it. Right. Okay, as you can see, this is quite a high profile box. And as always, put the lid back on because I want to give you guys the external measurement. So the width of the box, right, let's go by centimeter. So the, the width of the box is about 31 centimeters the depth of the box is about 20 centimeters and the profile of the box is about 13 and a half centimeters so it is a fairly thick box But it looks really good. You can tell straight away there's a lot of runners inside this box. And as you can see, the box is quite full as well. So what we'll do now, let me just move this to one side. And then we can look at the runners one by one. So the first bag we have yellow, the blue, some smoked part, the special effect parts for the beam um, for the beam saber, and then some stickers. So let's take a look at those stickers. You can see they are pre-cut. So I don't know exactly how many of these stickers I will be applying to the Gundam aerial. I'm not a big fan of stickers. I would prefer Bandai to provide us with the water transfer. But we will see. Hopefully I will be able to apply those on the white surface area. Because if you apply those normal stickers on the darker color parts, you will be able to, well, it will be very visible to see the borderline of the stickers. The yellow the color is pretty nice. And I can't see there's any shrink marks on them. So it looks pretty good. The blue parts as well looks pretty nice there's a little bit of marking on this part and nope they are not under gate they are just standard molding so here you can see there are all the yellow bits i think these ones are for the elbow maybe or the kneecap area i know those four are definitely for the for the kneecaps that's the chest area the blue parts are i think they are the part of the shield the backpack the backpack again and then I think that the under chest parts and then this blue translucent parts they are the beam sabers and they look like they are of very good quality there's at least there's no air bubbles looks very very solid not a single bubble inside the beam saber at all or the beam sorry and it looks like they have reused the beams 
from another kit because here you can see it is dated Bandai 2007 the blue part is like a baby blue color and it has a milky color finish and it looks slight, slightly purplish as well and there's also the the head camera and the eye unit in a pearl green color so I will probably paint it to a metallic green for this pretty nice next we have the very nicely painted metallic red special effect parts I think they probably have spray painted a chrome layer and then they applied clear red on top in order to get to this finishing but it is very very nice you can see all those details very nice ah there you go you can see the first layer was just chrome and then second layer is with clear red very nice I'm glad Bandai has done it this way I much prefer the chrome red color than clear red so, good job Bandai. Next, we have another bag with the white and red runner. So the red, they are, you have the torso and you also have the, the front foot and the heels and then the white parts are the external armor it looks really good finishing is really nice and these one you can tell they are under gate all of these same as those as well These one are half under gate. That's fully under gate again. Very nice. I much prefer the Gundam kit or the runners have the under gate part because that means you will have to spend a lot less time in polishing the knot marks. Nice. Then you have another bag of two dark grey runners and they might be identical. Yes, they are. There are two runners, exactly the same. So these are the internal body structure parts. I think that the shoulder. I think that's for the the lower legs and then there's more hinges and you have the darker bit for part of the shield or part of the beam rifle depends on how you going to position the Gundam aerial very nice I wish this piping effect is separated with a metallic or chrome part rather than molded as one piece but that's okay you can easily paint it yourself the moldings are really really good as i would expect from a 2023 kit i've just noticed this part right here 
this one. This one is standing upright, whereas the opposite runner, this one, is slightly bent. So hopefully it won't affect the parts too much. I don't think it would. I think it's still pretty good. Nothing is broken there. And then we have another bag with grey, red and clear blue runners. So the grey, you can see that's the beam rifle, which is quite big. So let's take a quick measurement. It's exactly, well, a little bit short of 10 centimeters. So it is a fair size beam rifle. And then you have those fingers, the open hand, the one with the trigger fingers. It's more internal structure parts. Very nice. And then the red runner, just like the last one we showed, it has the front part of the foot and then the heel. And then the blue translucent parts is just the special effect parts for the beam rifle. That looks really, really nice. It's crystal clear as well. And the length of this special effect is just under 14 centimeters length. Quite a large part. Looks good. And then, this is the last bag. So these are the, the white molding. So these are just the, it's just the majority of the external armor. So you have the upper legs armor, the lower leg, Pretty nice molding. Mark like that, you will have to mark those panel lines again, otherwise if you use the panel liner, it might not show properly. Some of the parts are under gate and some of, some of them are not. Here you can see the aerials or antenna. That's one of them and then the other two as well. And you have the front skirt armor. So this looks like this is just the front skirt on its own. There is no separate part for the underside to show a dark color. So you might want to paint them yourself. If it is a master grade Gundam kit, then you would have the part separation to cover the underside in a different color. But this is a one to 100 full mechanic Gundam kit. so. The front skirt is just that on its own. But it still looks pretty good. The parts look very, very nice, I have to say. Especially the upper legs. Look at those details. So if you put the panel liner, you can really bring out those details on the upper leg. Very nice. Next, we have the installation guide left. So this one is a small booklet. It's got a nice drawing of the Gundam aerial. 
to which from Mercury for 15 years plus full mechanics XVX-016 Gundam Aerial full mechanics 1 to 100 scale Bandai Spirit 2023 new kit made in Japan and then the back cover you've already seen those photos on the box so you can scan that barcode to learn more about the witch from Mercury cartoon and here you have some background information about the Gundam Aerial and the pilot for Gundam Aerial and that's her name Soletta Mercury and Bandai had printed those information in both Japanese and English and then right at the top you have the painting guide so if you are planning to airbrush the Aerial Gundam then make sure you have those colors ready so originally when I first placed my order for the Gundam Aerial I was going to airbrush the whole thing but then after I've been watching some of the reviewed on YouTube then I've decided that I will probably just be part airbrushing the Gundam Aerial mainly because there are a lot of moving parts so originally I was going to airbrush all of those colors except for the white because I think the white are already quite nice the yellow one, they're easy to airbrush, same as the red, it's only a few areas that's showing red, and same as the the two different shades of blue. Or might be the, the one shade actually, just one. So they're very easy to do. But then I've noticed the kneecap as you bend the upper leg and lower leg together then these yellow part which will become separate and if you do decide to airbrush these part then very likely when you move the legs around or when you fold the legs together then you're going to scrape those paint and then the Gundam won't look as nice so that kind of put me off from airbrushing the yellow bits the red bits on the foot area they are okay but the the lower waist or the hips area it looks like if you ever touch or move the side skirt armor then very likely you will scrape the, the red paint as well so I'm trying to avoid that as well the the red on the forehead and the chin they will be okay and then the blue again these parts on the side they will be okay but the the main chest area this the shoulder where you see this rectangular shape blue parts and the blue front chest area if you do move the the Gundam apart Sorry, I mean if you do move the Gundam around and you move the, the arm forward and backwards then very likely you're going to scrape those paint as well. So definitely I won't touch the, the brew area. So based on the above I have decided that I will not be airbrushing the yellow the blue, the red, the white and that means the only parts that I would airbrush are the grey area so the beam rifle 
the arms linkage, part of the torso, the shoulder linkage, the hands, part of the, the legs. I'm going to airbrush them into a gunmetal color, I think. I haven't decided. I need to look on my, my color um, option to pick the, the best color. So that will be the only area I will be airbrushing because as you guys know the full mechanics Gundam aerial is very poseable and I quite like to play around with the aerial once it is complete I'll probably end up changing the, the pose a lot and if I do airbrush the whole thing then that would limit my Well, it will limit the, the movement to the aerial because I would be forever so worried that the airbrush paint would get scraped off. So based on that, I think I've made the right decision of not airbrushing any of those color bits except for the, the dark gray areas. So hopefully it will still come out okay. Definitely the beam rifle would look really nice in a metallic color same as the the shield and same as the the arm and legs linkage especially the hands i think the hand would look really good in a, a metallic color so let's take a quick look of the installation guide as always you have the checklist right at the front and i don't see any crosses so it looks like you will be using all the parts here and you also have the stickers here some trimming technique and then the step by step is split into the two arms the chest area the head two legs the waist area and then you assemble the weapons and then the final assembly pretty cool and then you have the instruction as always this is very very clear and easy to follow so the whole instruction booklet apart from the front and rear cover everything inside is printed in black and white and then right on the last page it will show you where to apply the stickers and it looks like it's quite a lot of stickers to apply as well so definitely I won't be putting all of those stickers on I'll only select a small amount to apply. Okay, so let me put all of those runners back into the box. It looks like this kit is going to take me a little while because it has quite a lot of runners and some of them are under gate, some of them are not. So I will have to spend some time in polishing the parts and try to get rid of the cut marks or the nut marks. And I will be airbrushing the, the gray part for sure. So it will definitely take me longer than the usual time for a straight build, but at least I'm not airbrushing every single part because I do plan to play around with the Gundam Aerial rather than airbrushing everything and then assemble it and leave it in the display cabinet seems such a waste especially the Gundam aerial is very poseable 
there's a lot of articulation and being one of the latest released Bandai Gundam kit in 2023 I'm sure the Bandai team have spent hours and hours um, on designing the articulation of this Gundam aerial so I would like to discover the full potential of the articulation so based on that I won't be airbrushing the whole thing I'll just be airbrushing the dark grey colour parts so hopefully it will look pretty good and then I will have a lot of fun changing the Gundam aerial position holding different weapons as well so that is all I hope you guys enjoy the quick unboxing of the brand new Gundam aerial full mechanics 1 to 100 Gundam kit if you guys are interested in buying this kit um, you, you might still be able to pre-order it or if you just wait until maybe in a month or two then the Gundam aerial might become available um, Bandai might decide to release more of the Gundam aerial kit and then you'll be able to find it from your Uh, Gundam model shops online or maybe from Amazon and yeah good luck with it I think at the moment the retail for the full mechanic Gundam aerial is well cheapest you might be able to find it for about 40 45 pound and then I've seen one or two available on eBay and they are already you know close to 80 pound and i think i've seen one that is 89 99 something like that so is this a little bit too pricey for what it is so if you do like it don't rush and go and get one just wait when there's more um gundam aerial available then the price will start to drop again and then that will be the best time to pick up the gundam aerial full mechanics kit um, I won't recommend you to spend anything more than 55 to 60 pound to get this model kit. Um, I personally pay just under 45 pound and that's including shipping. So make sure you find yourself the best deal or maybe ask your supplier to chuck in the action base 4 Oops, where is it there the action base 4 so you can lift up the Gundam aerial and strike different poses rather than having it standing on two feet so they might be able to to do the, the good deal but definitely don't pay anything more than 55 to 60 pound just wait around and then get the kit later on in the year I'm sure you guys won't regret that decision so what I will do I will try and find some time to build the Gundam Aerial and I will let you guys know once it is complete and meantime I will carry on to film more unboxing video of different Gundam kit as well as my usual 1 to 18 scale model cars so make sure you guys stay tuned and look out for my next video so if you like this video please give me a like please ask me any questions or add any comments in the comments box below I'll come back to you very very quickly and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider to subscribe to my channel as well so until next time hope you guys have fun with your Gundam model kit or any Tamiya model kit and good luck with your model cars collection as well I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.